the sub guidance is all people want to talk about. How is it happening, even as we're hearing all these other cautionary signals about the economy? Well, you know, last year was our biggest year ever, 5.5 million postpaid net additions, and we just guided to 6 to 6.3 for this year. Big gain. It would be our best year ever. And that's because overall, Q1 and Q2, as it relates to new accounts, were the biggest Q1s and Q2s ever in our history. You know, this quarter, we delivered 380,000 new accounts. That's the highest quarter ever in our history. And you guys have been following us for a long time. We've had some big growth quarters in the past. But didn't you leave a lot on the table? Your competitors, Dom and, I'm sorry, ATT and Verizon, they raised prices big, citing inflation. It looks like you're keeping prices steady. I feel like uh, they might be using inflation as an excuse. Uh, listen, you know, for a decade now as the uncarrier, we have at every choice point had a choice between being a carrier just like them or being the uncarrier. So not only did we not raise rates by to the tune of nearly $2 billion like our competitors, we introduced price lock and told our competitors not only didn't we, but we won't because that's what the uncarrier does. And we think that's not just you know, great for consumers. That's great for our business. You know, for a decade, we have pursued that strategy, and we have outgrown everybody as a result. And that's exactly the strategy we're pursuing Are again. you not facing the same cost pressures that they are? Well, we have cost pressures like anyone. You know, we see it in labor. Uh, we see bad debt returning to normative levels from before the pandemic, and, and those things are obviously things to watch. But we also have long-term arrangements. We locked in long-term contracts for uh, equipment, for networking, for backhaul, including multi-year contracts that locked in pre-inflationary pressure CPI rates. So, we, you know, fixed, fixed debt structure. So we have some insulation that other companies in other sectors don't have. Well, I want to know, I mean, ATT, they were doing movies for a while. I guess that didn't really work. Direct TV, I guess that didn't really work. Mexican Wire, like that didn't really work. But they did have people not paying their bills on time. So I want to know how many people, you know, how long, how was it bad? How bad was it for you? How long did they take and how many days did they wait before they paid? Because that's what ATT is saying people are doing. Well, this might be a new phenomenon for some of our competitors. But remember, T-Mobile has always worked with a public that has variable economic right, But tell me how many is a could they pay? You know ATT said they couldn't pay on time. Yeah, how it, many people can't pay on time for you? Well, I, you know, it's always been the case that a decent amount don't. And we work with them and recover that. It's not a new phenomenon How about the for spike? Us. We, spike. we reported uh, bad debt that was elevated to pre-pandemic levels. But that's an area we're really comfortable with. In that same report, we guided EBITDA up because we're comfortable at these levels and we know how to manage customer relationships. So you didn't have the problem, ATT. Like You're this. saying basically, no. you didn't. Even right. though, did you ever get into the movies? The director? <laughs> <laughs> well, but but you know, we're, good we, we are HBO a did. pure play mobile internet company in an era where all content and communications of all kind have left their linear forms and landed on the internet and the internet's going mobile. And so being the nation's leading pure play mobile internet company is a great place to be. And you can see that in our record growth in home broadband net ads, where I right. think we'll be the leader this quarter. 560 for the third net quarter ads, 560,000 net ads. But how about uh, churn? I mean, because Verizon's always been the king of churn. Well, uh, this quarter we reported 0 0.80 below Verizon for the first time ever in our company history. And that includes Sprint. That's the blended number, including Sprint. We told people years ago we would pursue our worst to first churn playbook and give them something nobody else can offer them, okay. the best network and the best value. And listen, the best value right now is a proposition tuned to the times because people are concerned. Businesses and consumers are concerned, and there's a flight to value that's beginning to happen. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.